Today, I'm going to show you one tank which is quite an eye catcher. As you can see, a lot of players are checking it out, uh, you know, because this is uh, something what we have never seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, welcome back to yet another spotted on the live server video. We are basically continuing to update 1.20.1 new stuff and uh, this uh, vehicle was also in the batch list like my previous episode about TS60 which was in the batch notes uh, added uh, for testing by the Super NES players and um, under that video there was huge amount of comments actually from you beautiful people saying that uh, hey I also spotted Did Rosanov uh, on the battlefield and also during the live streams there were so many people who said they spotted Did Rosanov on the battlefield and they actually shared me some replays as well so we are able to take our first uh, look at this vehicle in the stalking third person mode once again so while you are enjoying this gameplay action on the background let's see what it has to offer people besides absolutely absurd amount of TPM. I understand this tank is under testing, but are they really testing a tank with uh, this TPM? Ladies and gentlemen, this tank, a tier 8 medium tank right now, has the highest TPM in the game. 3700 TPM out from the gate. At least this is what they are testing on the live server right now by Super Test players because uh, it has two versions, guys. One version is what you are watching right now with absolutely absurd, uh, absurd amount of TPM, 280 alpha damage, as you can see, hitting for 297, which you would not be able to do with 200 alpha damage. Now, would you? Because on March 22nd, uh, many World of Tanks uh, bloggers reported that uh, Titrozanov received some changes on the Super Test, uh, nerfing the alpha damage from 280 down to 200, and also made the reload time slightly longer from 4.3 seconds up to 4.6 seconds, of course, which would have killed this DPM from 3900 down to 2600. But what uh, Wargaming is testing on the live server right now is the previous version, what I'm able to share with you today. And uh, my question to you later on is going to be which one would you prefer <laughs> think very carefully all right and by the way in the later states of the video or at the end of the video i'm also going to share some special codes for you for twitch drop store because new twitch drops are live with the new store and with new items like free heavy tank number six or free ticker max and some other items more about that in a second because Let's dive into the version what you saw in this battle and also in the next battle of the Rosano. With 3893 DPM with 100% crew, 280 alpha damage, 220 penetration with AP or 235 with APCR. So penetration definitely is going to be the big issue over here. 4.31 second reload time, aiming time 1.92 seconds, which is pretty good. Accuracy 0 0.36, pretty good as well. Dispersion value 0 0.20, well it needs stabilizer, 36 shells and minus 6 degrees of gun depression as well now overall firepower of course absolutely absurd dp absurd dpm with uh, okay ish gun handling and bad penetration for many matches you know we cannot overvalue the dpm on uh, uh, some vehicles too much because um, it also matters if you're able to deliver your dpm if you don't have penetration or accuracy you can't deliver that crazy dpm or mobility and talking about mobility in this current version 50 top speed 15 backwards uh, but power to weight ratio 10.68 very freaking bad power to weight ratio so mobility and um, this is what actually i saw on the uh, replays as well you guys sent to me uh, like um Many heavy tanks were overtaking this tank actually and not even talking about other medium tanks. Other medium tanks uh, basically left this tank behind in the base when they were already fighting. You know, the mobility is quite bad on uh, the Trusanov uh, in this uh, version or for this version at least. Uh, so, uh, yeah, epic DPM but other than that, not anything too impressive if I'm completely honest with you, right? Uh, uh, now. 
This was one version. Before we're going to look at the 3D armor profile of this vehicle and before I'm going to show you this version in the game and me bumping out the DPM as much as possible to see how crazy it gets, right? Uh, before that, let's take a look at the second version of this tank which was released on March 22nd, but, you know, the one what we didn't see over here. And it is quite a bit different, like the firepower, yes it has better dispersion, longer reload time, um, better accuracy, but as you can see alpha damage over here from 280 down to 200 of course, uh, then the penetration was made even worse from 220 down to 212, but premium penetration was made better uh, from 235 up to 242, uh, then DPM from 3900 down to 2.6k as I mentioned before. Uh, then uh, ammunition capacity from 56 shells up to 60 shells, it received 200 extra hit points, um, then uh, extra 5mm frontal hull armor, um, hull traverse verse, engine power more and better power to weight ratio up to 15, so completely different tank I would say, different TPM mobility, uh, like handling everything uh, so we have to keep that in mind that uh, this might be the second uh, test version of the Trozanov on the live server as well but right now we saw the Omega DPM vehicle uh, which one would you prefer guys but once again keep in mind everything is subject to change now let's take a look at the 3d armor profile and pumping up the dpm and here it is versus quite a standard i would say quite a standard uh, tier 8 penetration 220 millimeters of penetration it can do some side scraping but uh, not too much like overall whatever is going to see this vehicle's so hull is very easily able to penetrate the turret however is uh, holding up a bit bigger punches like this little um, i don't know bulge a bulge bulge on the top of the turret is uh, pretty bouncy and you know if you use your gun depression uh, like max gun depression minus six degrees yeah you may in in you know hull down positions you may see some bounces but once they see your hull uh, it is a gg uh, they are easily able to penetrate you looking at the reverse side scraping angles uh, maybe something maybe a little bit less for them to hit but you can't over side scrape with it maybe like under angle like that you could do something but you know uh, then you reveal this very easily penetrable area Area right up here so armor wise and uh, nothing too crazy and um, before you ask you can see like those things are a little bit of spaced armor indeed like if we try to aim at the hull there is nothing and once we touch those uh, tits actually you can see that toes are giving it a slight uh, a slight um, a spaced armor action right over there uh, so th those help against getting tracked uh, for example example you know frontally but uh, how much i wouldn't really count on that actually like under angle like this even you can see that yes you can go through all that space starter with 220 penetration and still uh, hit the vehicle and resulting 97.7 uh, percent uh, chance to get a penetration right so armor profile nothing too crazy but uh, now let's switch to the uh, boom right over here and into the game where we can see this tank inside the garage this is how it looks like once again uh, as you saw on the battlefield already this is how it looks like it actually has like you know two dits in front of the vehicle right and uh, if we are going to configure uh, this tank a bit let's say what 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 is going to have on a premium tank uh, uh, situation awareness repair recon of course uh, field mods let's uh, max out those bad boys as well uh, let's take extra stabilization let's take extra accuracy and over here concealment is does it have even good concealment worth boosting mm, maybe not Maybe you want to take reverse speed because 15 for a medium tank, not that good. But let's say we take it like this, right? Let's apply. And uh, what do we have? Close to 4,000 TPM. Like, this is so crazy. I don't, um, I do not believe this stays in the game like that. Uh, so, how far are we able to boost it? Okay, let's take this. Uh, let's put Bounty Rammer on it. Uh, let's put. Uh, uh, let's put the stabilizer on it, for example, and we are already 4,500, already 4,500, 3.69 second reload time. 
<laughs> what the hell is this thing? Like, Wargaming. Why are you testing it like that? If, uh, if I may ask. If I may ask, why are you testing it like that? And let's say if we put ventilation on it, 4,700 dpm. But I don't think this needs ventilation. This actually may need some extra juice, you know, extra turbo right over here, for example, uh, to give uh, or to get the power to weight ratio up to 12.22 at least. Uh, still, you know, almost impossible to reach that top speed on the flat ground. And maybe, maybe Krausers is going to help out your uh, top speed, uh, but you. you you simply lack engine power in this vehicle and turbo because it is percentage based it doesn't give you that much extra and on the top of that if we would slap food on it 3000 uh, sorry 4753 dpm 3.5 second reload time <laughs> what the hell is this ladies and gentlemen and if you do not believe me okay let's go back over here let's go back over here short by stats DPM overall, no other filters, tier 10s, whatever. Look at that. Look where it is standing right now. What is your take on this, ladies and gentlemen? What is your take on a vehicle like that? <laughs> if, if it would enter the game. By the way, this is the S60. This is the other vehicle that was spotted and added into the uh, game, basically, and uh, spotted by all of you guys. I'm still receiving uh, replays featuring DS60, so they're testing it quite heavily. Now, I saw DS60 on my stream. Um, I have seen DS60 actually multiple times already, uh, but I have not seen a did Rosano myself, or I have not been able to fight against it. But now, if I see people testing it out, I know what kind of DPM it can have now this is basically like uh, never ending or i cannot say never ending because it has 56 shells it has a 56 shell auto loader or 60 shell standard medium tank with a 2.6k base dpm which is still not half bad so guys what do you think about that which version would you like to see in action and uh, yeah let's uh, stay tuned i'm going to keep my hands on the pulse all the time and i will share some info with you as always now moving on to the next topic which i mentioned at the start of the video unlock fresh rewards with new token store rewards and uh, cc bonus codes this is uh, basically another set of twitch drops for you guys to pick up and uh, this time they are making it a little bit easier for you if you want to get a little bit of a head start you can activate uh, some of the cc codes over here we have a lot of huge for a uh, huge array of cc's uh, over here with uh, their special codes and uh, my goals i'm going to put those uh, to the top in comment for example in the description as well for you if you want to check out uh, a skill uh, qb papa rage mouse acrobat mail and uh, we are over here uh, the kills or and you can check out every single mission right over here and uh, i decided to pick a course uh, damage with the penetration shot 22 times at least uh, one enemy vehicle over any uh, two at least one enemy vehicle over any number of battles basically long story short you have to get 22 penetrations over any number of battles and once you do that two extra tokens is yours now, now there are two different codes for me to activate uh, if you use both of them you get eight completions so eight times two tokens if you decide to use uh, one of my gold and uh, some uh, some other other gold with uh, some uh, other mission basically the outcome is the same up to eight completions in uh, total and um, you know like skill for l2 cost damage to at least 15 enemy vehicles over any number of battles if you do that one mission is done and you get uh, two uh, tokens uh, into your pocket uh, just like that so uh, two goats but you can use one my goat one other goat or uh, just uh, whichever whichever cc you like over there and uh, over here this is the store as well where you're able to choose your items uh, from we have different styles heavy number six sticker max those you can get for free permanently and this is actually a lot of players main way to get some lower tier premium tanks for free from twitch drops because this has been going for uh, quite a long time already actually and this is the brand new style as well the storm style can we see that on some bigger tanks like this for example on fe 45 so yeah just something free stuff is free guys twitch.tv slash test games tune in so ladies and gentlemen today's video did rosano absolutely 
like speechless right now about that DPM, but the mobility is bad, armor bad. Is really the DPM going to be the massive selling point and this type of DPM? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below because I am done. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, stay sexy, take care and bye.